Today I'm going to start drawing sprites, as in JPEGs or PNG files. Here I have my Visual Studio 2019. I'm going to create a new project. Make sure that you're using C++. And today, instead of the console app, I'm going to create a completely empty project. Next. Pick your favorite folder. I have mine. I'm going to name it. I'll call it Drawing Sprites. Enter. So here we have a completely empty project. I'm going to go to Source Files, right click, Add New Item. I'm going to add a CPP file. I'll call it Main. I'm also going to right click here, Properties, because I want to make sure that I'm using C17. We also need the main function, int main, return zero. I'm going to press F5. Okay, it's an empty project. Now, to render sprites, I'm going to be using something called the OLC Pixel Game Engine. Here's the GitHub. I'm going to have all the links below. This is a very simple engine. It works. It does not have a GUI. I think this is perfect for learning, much more so than Unity or Unreal. And it's open source. It's, it's amazing. So let's download this. You can either download zip or clone using your Git client. For this video, I'm going to download zip. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder or put it wherever you want. I'm just going to save it. Then I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Unzip it. Unzip everything. We're only going to be using one file which is this OLC Pixel Game Engine .h. I'm going to copy this, Control C, copy the file, put it into the folder for our project, open folder in File Explorer, paste it in there, and then we need to add it to our solution. Add existing item, find the engine OLC Pixel Game Engine .h, and add. Okay, here we have it. I'm just going to put this in the same source files folder. Let me get rid of the folders that I'm not going to be using. Okay. And let's actually start building our game. I'm going to create a new item, a header file. I'm just going to call it game. So inside our header file, I'm going to create a class game. And for our main, the main is going to include our game.h. Now, the only job of main is to create our game. I'm going to call the instance game. And we're going to, I'm just going to create a function called run. We don't have it yet. I'm going to go to game, create a public function, run. And this is the beginning of our app. So in our main, the error message is gone. And first, let me just run this. I'm going to put a breakpoint here, F9. Just make sure that our app runs fine. OK, it's working. Now our game is going to include the engine, include the OLC Pixel Game Engine, our class is going to inherit from the pixel game engine. We need to override a couple of functions, something called on user create. We're going to override this. We're also going to override on user update. Override. This function takes in a float value. Uh, delta time, which is elapsed time between each frame. If you're confused, make sure you check out my previous videos in this playlist. It goes over the basics. And if you're coming from Unity, on user create is similar to start, on user update is similar to update. Bold just means that we've run these functions successfully. So by default, we want to return true. Otherwise, we return false and it means something's wrong with the app. For now, just return true. Now I'm going to construct a window for our game to run in. 
we have a function inside the engine called construct. And for this video, I'm going to create a 16 or 600 by 300 window. I'm going to make each pixel size 2. So we have 2 by 2 pixels. This function is going to return a bool if our window is created successfully. So if we construct our window, and if that is successful, we're going to use another function inside the engine, which is start. For now, don't worry too much if you don't understand what these functions mean. You can press, you can click on construct, press F12, see the functions yourself. But for this video, I'm just going to move on, focus on creating our first window first. We can always come back to this later. We have one last step before running our game, which is defining a macro. Define OLC pixel game engine application. And you can define this however you want to. For this video, I'm just going to say it's zero. If you don't understand what a macro is, check out my previous videos, including video number 23. It explains what a macro is. For now, let me explain this later. Let me just make sure by pressing F5, I want to make sure that the app actually runs. Okay, here we have our window. We have nothing in it. Looks like it's running fine. Now, the reason why we need the macro, I'm going to right click, find all references. Okay, here it is in the engine, line 1043. If you read the comments, the author, Coder, wants to make sure that this entire code from, 1, 000, from line 1000 to line 4000, he wants to make sure that the code gets run just once. And if you remember from video number 23, this is an if statement. We're only going to pass the condition if this macro is defined. So in our game, we defined it. But look on the next line. We have this syntax, which is undefined. We're now undefining this macro, meaning we're going to get rid of the macro. We're not going to be using it anymore. So what this means is that as soon as we pass the condition, we're going to get rid of the macro. The next time you try to run this, you're not going to pass the condition anymore. This makes sure that whatever is inside the if statement only gets run just once. Since we're using the macro for this purpose only, it doesn't even matter how you define it. I can call it characters, an array of characters. Define this however you want to. And this is still going to run. I'm going to press F5. OK, here is our game window. Let me also give you a brief explanation on construct. Let me get my MS Paint. So we have our monitor. I have a 4K monitor, so the total number of pixels on my X would be 3,840. I'm not sure about this number, or it could be 1,920, depending on which monitor you have. But you have total number of pixels on your X width, total number of pixels on your height, Y. We're going to be using some of these pixels to create our game window. In our case, every pixel in our game window was a 2 by 2 so we're using 2 pixels, or 4 pixels for each pixel inside our game window. So this entire box is a single pixel, and we're going to be using 600 of them on our width, and we're going to be using 300 of them on our height. So in total, for our width, we're going to be using 1200 pixels on our X and 600 pixels on our Y. And of course, you can also make the pixel size smaller. You can make this one by one, which would be an actual pixel. Let me change this to one and run this. Okay, this window is now using the total pixels of 600 by 300. I can also make this 3840 to match exactly the size of my monitor, the width of my monitor. Okay, you can tell that it matches exactly. Let me put this back to 600, 300, 2 by 2 pixels. You can make this however you want to, but whatever your number is, the number inside this window has to be smaller than the, the number of pixels you have on your display. 
So that is the basic code to create your, your game window. Let me create a part two video of this. Drawing a sprite isn't all that complicated, but I just don't want to talk about too many things at once. So I'll see you next time.